Hello, Emerald Bodywork community. We're coming to you tonight. This is a late night interview we're doing. Who knows where we're going to post this thing. Um, I'm bringing you a couple more guest instructors. I told you in the May newsletter that guest instructors abound, and I wasn't kidding. Like, I have more guest instructors for you. Um, I have with us tonight Jenny and Steve, and they are bringing us the Ilio Soaz Workshop. This is a workshop at the end of May. And really, I just kind of want to start off just asking you guys to introduce yourselves. Um, Jenny, you're a little bit newer to the community. Steve's been around a while. So do you want to take the lead here, Jenny, and tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm Jennifer Leogier. Um, I'm a massage therapist. I'm also an MTI and a CEP. Uh, I do have my own studio in the Preston Hollow neighborhood. It's called Aging and Wellness. Um, I do relaxation, a lot of MFR and craniosacral. I kind of got um, really fast wanting to teach classes um, as an instructor. So I got certified with you guys at Emerald. And, Yay! Uh, shout out for Emerald. Yes. <laughs> Thank and, you. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and that's it. That's happening, making it happen. So yeah, that's uh, yeah. that's it. Jenny, that's me. You were one of my students at Sterling true. Sterling Massage that's School. Very which, true. Yeah, which we don't have Sterling School of Massage anymore, but we made the most of it while we had it. Yes. Um, right. Yeah, and uh, I just I just have to speak to you as a student. When you came in as a student, your questions were they they were just informed from the very beginning not that you knew all the things when you came to class but you knew how to formulate a question to get the answers that you wanted and that you really desired and i thought man if she doesn't if she doesn't bring this passion for learning to our field i'm going to be so sad like and then when you said you were excited about being an instructor i was like oh my gosh please please let me be a part of that journey you know and then here you are you're teaching in our space and i don't know some things are just meant to be and i'm i'm so excited that you're here um yeah uh, and too. i just yeah. i know your passion and your pursuit of knowledge and i'm so excited to see you turn that around and 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 bring and bring what you found to your class and yeah so i'm gushing a little bit but maybe you understand i'm a little excited <laughs> to have you <laughs> and it, steve it, it kind of goes full circle it's like okay that's it or you know yeah it does it yeah. does yeah yeah so Thank you for choosing to be in Emerald's teaching space for the first class that you're half of. Now we have to introduce the other half. Steve Wiley, take it away. Unfortunately, I have to say, Steve, this isn't much of a spoiler. A lot of the people that take classes from Amy and I, they already know and love you. But for those people that don't know who <laughs> Steve is, um, please introduce yourself. Hey, everybody. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Steve Wiley. <laughs> <laughs> like Christina said, I've been around for a little while in the field. I got licensed back in the 1900s, 1999, <laughs> and uh, had the blessing of being able to teach at uh, various schools in the Dallas area over you know, the past 20 years. I mean, and Christina taught together for a little while and at Sterling, so that was pretty great. And here we are again, right? Yeah, so at this point, you know, um, when I'm working with my clients, I have a mobile practice. So it's pretty much an outcall based or room rental kind of practice and focusing generally on myofascial work. And I like the active stretching, post isometric quite a bit as well. Do some relaxation work, but not quite as much as the myofascial work. And, um, you know, I got to teach CEs for quite a while over all the years. And, after a little hiatus, after um, you know my time with Sterling, you know, we're getting back into it. So this uh, this class will be me getting back on the horse. I love it. Thank you for choosing Emerald to 
to be that platform to get back out there. Amy and I are, we're so honored. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah. And <laughs> Back I think at we've you. been, we've kind of been pulling at you for a while. <laughs> yeah. Well, it worked. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We're, we're excited. So many students are excited to be back in your classroom. So I have to say you guys, um, so there are times that I kind of sounded a little bit smart at Sterling, like I knew what was going on. And it's really just because of Steve's worksheets. So. <laughs> no, come on, don't sell yourself short. No, to teach is to learn twice. And I'm telling you, Steve took me to school on massage and it was a crash course. <laughs> and hopefully I was able to deliver a little bit of that. So, but no. I, having you, um, Steve, at the beginning of my teaching journey, that makes me even more excited for Jenny because I know how much you contributed to me learning and growing as an instructor and just condensing information for me and uh, that I could expound on, you know, and uh, you uh, took that vast knowledge that you have, you gave it in some bite-sized pieces and it was almost like giving me a leg up on that, on that ladder, you know, and uh, I, I don't, I wouldn't have survived at Sterling without yeah, you. Uh, <laughs> you climbed the ladder quite well, so. Don't well, I, I, a lot of credit. I, I admire both of you so much and I'm really excited that you're doing a class for us. So, yeah, but I want to know how did this become a team? How did this happen? So I don't know when I stopped, uh, when I got uh, certified and when I got licensed, I really quick, like I, I was taking so many C classes and I was like furthering my knowledge so much and really quick, I realized, I think I want to teach. And of course I had the whole like imposter syndrome, you know, like how can I bring something to the field when there are people that have been doing this for 20 years, but then I sat myself down and I was like, well, they all started somewhere like 20 years ago, they were teaching their first class too. And if you don't do it now, then you're never going to do it. So just do it. So I looked into how to get certified to be an MTI and then later on CEP. And so before being a massage therapist, I was an educator. I was a high school teacher for about 10 years. And so I think it was just like, again, that realization that like, I think I'm an educator at heart, you know, like I, of course I want my practice, but I also want to do classes a few times a year. And so I had that idea and I started looking into it. And then I thought, well, that would still be nice to be teaching alongside someone, you know? And so Steve had been uh, one of my teacher at Sterling and I really liked uh, his style because he was always very, precise, deliberate, down to the anatomy, down to not just making things up or how it feels or whatever, but down to like the science behind it and the, the data and all that. And so I thought, oh, I like that approach, you know. And so at some point I asked Steve, I was like, well, I think I'm going to get certified. I think I want to teach a class. How would you like to teach a class? Would you like to teach a class with me? And so and for, I mean, fortunately, he said yes, and he was on board. And so um, yeah, that's yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I was going to say, if you yeah, no <laughs> tell us if it's not how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, would you like to present your yeah, side of this story? <laughs> well, that's, I mean, that's how it happened. No doubt about it. I mean, all the background of it, but uh, you know, just uh, approaching me about <clears throat> um, co-teaching this Ilio Soas class and, you know, like you said, I mean, there's no no doubt in my mind that Jenny's a great teacher, you know. And so I was like, absolutely, let's do this. You know, it'd be a great start. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. But I I have to ask you, I mean, we're right out of the gate with a really specific class, like really specific friends. <laughs> so why on earth is the first class right out of the gate for you as a teaching duo, the Ilio Soas? Somebody's got to share some passion. There's got to be a, a passion story here somehow. I mean, <laughs> we all have our favorite muscle. I know we all have our favorite muscle. So whose favorite muscle is this? 
don't know I mean, if it's my favorite. No, go for it. You can go for it. Yeah, I was you going to say, tell I mean, me how we pick this. No, I can really say that it's just like favorite, but something that is a really important thing to learn about. You know, we'll just say sooner than later. You know, plenty of, there can be a lot of stigma around it. You know, there's a lot of reason, you know, that hopefully a therapist is, you know, just able to work with it like confidently and safely and help to pass it on to clients. And, you know, Jay, you could can, kind of continue as to kind of why this is, you know, so specific <laughs> or, you know, why, why we're choosing to do this. Yeah. I, I don't know. It was kind of one of those weird things. Like when I realized I wanted to teach, I had two things I had, okay, I want to teach a class on centering and grounding Mm -hmm. Because from my own practice, it was kind of like, I need that. And that is something I wasn't taught in school because that's not in the curriculum. And so I was like, now that I figured out that I did my own research and my own workshop and stuff, I was like, oh, I want to teach that. And I want to bring that to the field. And there was that other thing in my mind that was like the iliopsoas, like the elusive muscle, like, you know, either people like know about that muscle but don't know how to approach it like in the field or are a little too aggressive. I've had therapists work on, or, you know, in, in some workshop, because once I decided how oh, I think I won this one. And then we talked about it with Steve and then we took workshop together. We took workshop online. We read books. We just did a ton of study and stuff. And some therapists are a little too aggressive with that muscle. And so, and so, a lot of the time, the clients are not aware at all of that muscle. They don't even know that name. You know, you talk quad, quad muscle, biceps, triceps, like people, it, it rings a bell, but you come down to iliopsoas and they're like, oh, is that a, where, you know, like they don't know. <laughs> um, so it seemed like it was a good thing because to educate your clients, you have to have educated massage therapists. And so it was kind of like, for me, like a good idea of like oh that can trickles down all the way to people on the table and then how they approach their lives and their posture and all those things you know and so I don't know if it's my favorite muscle I don't think so but I have a kind of a fascination for that or a lot of reverence and a lot of like curiosity for that muscle I think that's that was the approach okay so I'm just gonna go out here on a limb and I'm going to say, not your favorite muscle, but the unsung hero. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. That is, you guys I, have got to give me some poetic license here. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely a hero. It's not a villain. Right? There you go. It's not yeah. a villain. A hero. Right. That's a good not a villain. Okay. Yeah. Th thank you, Steve. I, yeah. I was reaching. <laughs> hey, it's it's so many things is the thing okay? mm -hmm. it's so many things at once no yep. okay so now you're just foreshadowing what people are going to expect in a class it's so many things at once and it's it's the it's the hero not the villain okay all right so i i don't think that many therapists come to a class that is focused on a muscle maybe a group right? Maybe the quads, three to six hours on how to work the quads, stretch the quads, that kind of thing. I'm thinking about the, ili the iliopsoas. First of all, I'm thinking about a lot of <clears throat> misunderstanding and misunder miseducation that I've experienced in the field. And I'll, I'm with you there, Jenny. And I was definitely one of those therapists that really didn't fully understand what I had there. <clears throat> um, and I can definitely stand to learn something in this class. There's no doubt in my mind, <clears throat> but so when someone comes to a class, that's this specific. Um, I, and I think there are, we're going to be talking about other muscles that interact with the iliopsoas too. Um, so I want to make, definitely. I want to be specific on that. We're going to be touching on other muscles that are affected um, or that, cooperate with the iliopsoas, if you will. <clears throat> so what can people expect from this class? It's 12 hours, right? So um, what are people, what are people, what expectation can they bring to the class? 
Well, I think that you hit on a good point initially that there will be, you know, other muscles that we touch on besides just iliopsoas, you know, so as iliacus as kind of a, a separate entity in some way, but certainly as a collective unit, thus the name of the class, right? So, you know, we're bringing that in for, you know, just maybe a, a bigger understanding of like helping the iliopsoas as a unit. You know, not just thinking to focus on it solely by itself, just to work it by itself if it is having an issue, because, you know, it does have relationship with, you know, many other things. You know, honestly, it's not like we can touch on all of it in a 12 hour class even, but just to give, you know, an idea and a presence of working with other things along with Iliosoas and some sort of, say, say, say sequence, but just you know, as a more collective way of working to have that targeted goal of, you know, relief and help and comfort and love and however you want to call it for, you know, the psoas and the iliacus. So that is, I mean, that is definitely an important part of kind of what we're kind of coining or saying as having an integral, you know, anatomy mindset about it. Again, working with other things, not just it as the solo. And whether those things have some sort of a more anatomical relationship, say, you know, fascial relationship or something more of a functional relationship by way of actions um, or some other kind of cause and effect relationship. You know. But ultimately, you know, over the two days, right, there's definitely going to be, you know, starting off, you know, day one with some lecture. You know, getting in the specs of you know, origin insertion, talking actions of iliacus and so as. You know, we'll be talking about um, and discussing you know some of that fascial relationship, mm -hmm. as well as relationship with the nervous system and some cause and effect there. You know, I mean, obviously, all things in some way are tied into the nervous system, but there's some of us that understand the the so as to <clears throat> especially to have kind of a special relationship with the nervous system, you know, just emotion, subconscious, un unconscious or conscious and a cause and effect with it and, and in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. How the psoas is doing could definitely also impact how someone is doing themselves. All right. It's not just separate parts of a person operating separately. All right. So, and we're going to, we're, we're going to keep the lecture at the, the first day about an hour. Mm -hmm. But we are definitely going to be talking about cautions and neighboring structures to be careful of and just kind of get a lay of the land because that's one of those things about working with psoas, especially iliacus as well, but especially psoas that you need to keep in mind, right? Safety first, right? Do no harm, right? All these, all these very important underlying tones of therapy. Mm -hmm. So we'll be... Um, getting into you know, the demonstration and practice after that. And we're going to be you know, going through um, a sh short demonstration initially, and then having the students practice what we just shown. All right, we're not going to be necessarily having so like an hour of demonstration, and then here you go. All right, we're going to be showing techniques, you know, giving instruction on just kind of execution mechanics, showing you know whatever we're showing. Um, there's going to be some depends on the muscle that we're working with, but there'll be some fascial gliding involved for some of the muscles. We'll be using ischemic compression at times, um, active or passive movements are going to be in play, depending on what we're demonstrating. So again, we're going to have you know, shorter demonstrations and then you know, short rounds of practice for the partners to you know, receive and give. It's like they're watching and seeing and taking it in that way and then getting some more immediate feedback on either side of it to either do the work or to receive the work. You know? and so I don't know if we want to get into the specific muscles that we're going to be demonstrating in some particular order of things, but we're definitely going to be uh, getting into the iliacus and so as demonstration and practice on day one. We're going to kind of give that not immediately, immediately, but at least immediately on day one, you know, getting into that as the namesake goes, right? Just some more immediate gratification. And day two, we're going to again be starting off with some lecture and we'll be talking about, you know, some self work for the SOAS, right? talking about ways that we could kind of help educate the clients on how to work on their own. All right. 
and we'll be probably entertaining some questions also and some recap from day one just to kind of see where people are mm -hmm. so uh, it's gonna be let me say it's a good bit of demonstration and practice going on so wouldn't be surprising that somebody would want a little refresher or a little recap or you know maybe they practiced on someone that night and had a question or something as such so it's all a possibility right but we'll continue on day two with the demonstration of you know, other muscles that are part of this whole scene. And at some point we will have a much longer practice time for people to reciprocate, to basically be able to kind of work through everything that we've shown. You know, all the while people are practicing, me and Jenny are going to be there for you know, moving around the tables and working with people and you know, just whatever they may need or be there to say right on, you know, keep it up and do what you're doing. You know? And so that's, that's the gist of it. That's awesome. That's awesome. I always love that day two when as a student, you know, I can try some of the new tricks I learned on whatever unsuspecting bystander I can find <laughs> to practice. And then I can come back on day two and go, okay, so, you know, I did this and what do you think? And I felt this and what was that? <clears throat> and especially with when we're talking about iliacus and so as that's abdominal you yeah. know that's and and that's a scary territory for a lot of folks yeah. um and so having that ability to come back on day two and say well what about this and i slept on that and i thought about this and i really love that you know um so yeah. If you're that person that's a little in, intimidated when it comes to working in the abdomen or in the pelvic bowl, um, yeah. good. That means you have reverence for what you find there, right? Um, this is a great class for you, though, because I trust these two to bring you knowledgeable anatomy, to bring you very specific instruction for what to do when you find when you encounter certain structures, Um yeah, the, you guys, I am I know I can count on you guys to really bring a knowledge-based approach to a very tender, and as Steve was touching on, even emotionally rich region of the body. So, yeah, yeah, uh, there's, there's a lot. I, I think the short answer to that is there is so much to be expected from this class. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited that you guys are bringing this to our space. So, Excellent. Yeah, we are too. Yeah. Uh, Jenny, did I did I miss anything? Is uh anything you wanted to add about no. what to expect? No, I don't think so. I mean, emphasizing the fact that it's a really like integral anatomy, global anatomy, just to make sure. So so people don't think, oh, we're gonna be on it's the just this. or the SOAS for two days in a row, like yeah. no. Of course you could, in theory you could, but it is much more than that because, you know, again, iliacus and psoas are to be taken in a much, you know, broader perspective. And when you take them into a much broader perspective, you can further the work because you can work with diaphragm, you can work with abdominis, glutes and, and all those. So, and also the fact that it is going to be very gentle work there will be no, you know, pushing and no, yeah. you know, <laughs> getting in there and yeah. just, no, there will be none of that. So that's another important uh, point. Yeah. Sorry. Just, uh, another you, important you just, point. you just piqued a lot of interest with that. What? There's <laughs> not going to be any getting in there and holding your breath and tell yeah. me when it doesn't hurt anymore. Right. Like we've heard all of that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, guys, that's going to be great. Okay. So the class is May 28th and 29th. Yes. At our teaching space in Plano. Um, you can go to our website and you can register for that class. Now it's been up for a little while. We have a few students in there. It's not full yet, but once this, once people hear this information, um, it's going to fill up quick. So yeah, if you're interested in the least, hurry up, get over to the website and get your seat. Um, yeah. And I'm so excited for your emphasis on hands-on also. Um, our students love that practice, practice, practice. There's a reason why we're massage therapists. We all learn with our hands. 
you know, <laughs> we do. So thank you guys so much for your time today. Um, yeah. And we will see you in just a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for having us and see you all on the 28th and 29th. That's right. right. Looking forward to it. Sign up. <laughs>